Welcome back to the 85 South Show Backwoods Lounge here at One Music Fest. And we are sitting on the couch with the ladies of Black Girl Stuff. Hey. What's up? The what hit up, show What's up? on What's up? Revolt TV. Yes. You already know. And of course, you know Carlos Miller. I'm Bri Renee, straight from the A. Your girl, Brit Hall. What up, though? <laughs> she got Toy Bricks. What's up? Yeah, and today we backstage with Backwoods, but we kicking in the lounge outside of One Music Fest. Me and Lowe's been doing exclusive interviews, and my girls from Black Girl Stuff were out here. So they was like, oh, we got to pull up backstage with Backwoods, vibe out with y'all. So I'm like, let's go. Let's kick it. Excited. Welcome to the trap on wheels. This is a mobile trap. Right, That's most fire. definitely. It's a mobile. It's trap on wheels. Right. And I thank you. You know we going to pull up on you wherever, Bree. You know that. And we got to say right. thank y'all, because y'all like, y'all gave us that razzle dazzle. You know <laughs> okay. what I mean? A little sprinkle yeah. sprinkle. That's, yeah, because it's like, they didn't even know that we was plugged in with y'all like that. Okay. And now that y'all here, and they yeah. was like, oh, okay, yes. It's up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Revolt backwoods situation. I see it. <laughs> no, for sure. Um, One Music Fest is lit today. It's so many artists performing. Um, Jazzy just hit the stage, but Fire. who y'all excited to see? I'm not going to lie. I'm excited to see Lil' Kim. That's my girl. NYC, Ooh, Brooklyn, yeah. big energy. I'm excited to see my girl. Okay. Right. Look you already know you said it, Britt, but you already know Janet Jackson. Woo, the queen. Yeah, Miss Jackson, if you need. Okay. <laughs> Miss Jackson, if you need. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm excited to see Janet, too. Who you want to see, Lowe's? I want to see all the the legends. Because, mm -hmm. you know, this is, this is a two-day event. Yeah. So we're going to have to see a lot of dope performances. I would love to see Janet Jackson. That Michael little sister. Woo. Yeah. And then That's look, Kim. Woo. I, I know she going to act a fool because uh, she you told you in the song. Yeah, she sure. going to throw shade know. if she don't get okay. paid. For sure. Like the like the army grenade. Grenade. Hey. And she got hits. <laughs> and it'll just be dope to see her do her little Kim dance uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in real life. Y'all know what's crazy is like actually since we backstage, like we behind the main stage. So I kind of already had eyes on oh. her, Lil' Kim in the building. So okay. real? Yeah. What up, Kim? Yeah, we got the exclusives back here with Backwoods. Uh, I'm trying to see, like, how y'all think these artists, like, prepare for their show, though. Because I know it got, like, your nerves going crazy. Yeah. It's so many people. You hear the crowd already. People are already performing. Like, yeah. I be trying to get in my zone. You know what? I think it's a lot of mental preparation. Just, like, for all of us, when we're backstage on our shows and we getting ready to go out and, like, give our energy to people, I think it's just to take that moment by yourself and just... Woo! And then yeah. go out there and just give it out. Leave it on the floor. Mm -hmm. I think but, it's your friends and the vibe that you got in your trailer. Because, right. like, you already put the work in throughout the week. So, at this point, it's like, yo, let's pray. Let's go out there with good yes. vibes. Let's, yeah. like, turn up. Like, take a shot. No, yeah. for sure. I was thinking that it's friends, Roll up too. backwood. Roll up a yeah. back. I was about to say, roll up a backwood. Light a candle. Yes. Yes. yes, let's set the mood. No, but, but for I feel sure. like as an artist, it might shock you, though. You know, you be you go through your process, your routine of, you know, your your show, making sure you know the words. Because mm -hmm. some of these songs, they don't perform in their set list. Yeah. yeah. So you might go out and you be think overthinking it, and then once the crowd see you and you start performing that song, it might just take you to a whole nother yeah. level. Because you're like, I'm worried about the lyrics. They know the lyrics. They know. <laughs> Y'all sing it. Y'all go ahead. Right. I don't be wanting to sing the whole. I want to sing along with you, but I definitely, as an artist, want to see you sing the song. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, sing it. No, but I was back to what you were saying about, like, the friends thing and the vibe and the energy. Like, I feel like you cannot be, if you a friend or somebody that's hanging out with an artist, like, you definitely got to be gotta mindful of the up. energy yeah. that you bring it around before mm -hmm. hand. You can't be on no weird stuff. Right. Right. You can't be doing too much. Yeah. Like, they say, scan the holes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Bring the vibes to me, please. Yeah. yeah, and be easy. Make that day as light as yes. possible if you know they got to perform. Mm -hmm. Like you said, roll up. Roll right. you Make yourself useful. Turn some of this noise off. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Don't all be that. asking me all them questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Figure right. it out. Yeah, go I, grab your partner a sandwich or something. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Look out. Look be, out. Extend yourself. Yes. Sure. I love that. Acts of service. We live for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is my yeah. phone. Now, we were talking earlier, right before we started this, about how y'all let those guys come on the show <laughs> and give bad relationship advice. When can I come on there and give some bad relationship Listen, y'all, I told Carlos, I don't be listening to nobody. Listen, my biggest thing is show and prove. So I don't care what you talk it's about. For sure. Until you show some proof of what you actually do, Jesus could come sit right here. Let me see. <laughs> like, let, let, let me talk see it so happen in front of my wrong. face. Facts. Right, right. What you but, say, Vittori? 
let them talk so we can see what they doing wrong. Right. I, I wanted to hear their side. I didn't want us to be arguing with them and telling them what they could do because yeah. that's what they expected. They always expect the woman to be, yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to hear what y'all had to say. And right. they said a bunch of nothing. Yeah, and you said it absolutely. on the man's side. So now that's look. ladies, one point for us. You right. know, ding, ding, up, one point. Ding, ding. Now, you know, Bree got me yeah. watching black girl stuff. I be making him watch Crazy, black girl stuff. Crazy, <laughs> like way too much. Yes. For, from the producer eye, from the uh, viewer standpoint, I love it. and then you know we be starting to pick up on little stuff. Now, Britt, when y'all do have men on the show, okay, they be on you hard. They do be on Britt. <laughs> they be on me, but I got a king, so I'm not even. Uh, period. Well, that's what I was gonna ask you. How, did, how you navigate when you know you in the right, and they still trying to put that pressure on you? That don't mean nothing to me. It's all about Come respect. On, that's my number one thing. And I feel my man is securing me. As long as he know that what he got is safe, you can say whatever you want to say, bro. I done seen it, done it, I'm good. So yeah. it's like this background. It's just a brick wall. It's a brick wall. It's a brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. You I don't even what be I'm hearing call you then. I, I ain't calling you Brit no more. Your new name. Your new brick wall. wall. <laughs> that's it. I like that. Sexy. I like that. I like that. Make them kind of try harder too. Yeah, you gotta as you really should. It's, it's royalty, though. We're not playing them games. Yeah, I love that, but you do always care. She be so poised, cause it be do, it be, and you still. You know, I, like I don't it. even catch it until you point it out, and then right. you'll be, I be like, look at Brick, come on, Queen. I be like, oh okay. yeah. Nah, I love it though. It's good energy. They do be doing the most though. Good. So yeah, I'm a new fan of black girl stuff, cause now it just keeps popping up every time I turn my YouTube that's what's on. Up. Okay. I got it recorded hey, that's okay. on his DVR too. Look, oh, shit. You're not recording on the DVR. That's when you know you're in a relationship, babe. Come back. <laughs> we gotta catch you. Come watch this, babe. We gotta Come catch you. Come roll up. Come watch this. Well, I want to mm -hmm. ask all of y'all since y'all here, what are some of y'all favorite moments from the show? Because y'all been there from the beginning. So what are some of y'all favorite moments? Mm, we starting, Bree. Or favorite started. episodes or things that you be like, this was Ooh. crazy or awkward Well, or one whatever. monumental for me was... I thought this was really dope because I'm a huge, I'm a huge Whitney Houston fan. You know that. So when we got to actually go visit New Edition at a at a um, oh, yeah. at their, um, their rehearsal, rehearsal. Mm -hmm. and then yeah. got to interview them, and I, I got to sit down with the Bobby Brown oh, as yeah, a Whitney Houston yeah, yeah. fan. I was like dope, and I ain't even mentioned Whitney, and he mentioned Whitney to me. That was I was special. like, that was a little thing. No, for, for me. sure. I don't know. You know what, y'all? It's actually not anybody that's been on this show. I think it's just us, especially because I came in on season two, and I was nervous, and I had never done anything with talk or TV, and they just brought, like, all the right energy. Because, you know, sometimes females be catty. You don't know what you're getting into. And it was just like my sisters, like, ooh, I love these women. They so down to earth. And they felt real. And for me, that was, like, made the show. So, oh, yeah. It's us for me. <laughs> it's us for me. <laughs> For sure. Yes. Yes. Now, the new edition, for sure, that was lit. But just seeing how we're there for each other, it's it's like, it feels good to be able to confide in somebody and, like, laugh about shit and, and even grow confidence with somebody. I think that's the best one. Yeah, yeah I would say that because it's like you get to see... We made we all became friends through this, you know uh -huh. what I mean? And you get to see them grow and transition as a, a woman on camera and off camera. Like, like Tori really has come out her shell in this second season and being super vocal and really pop her shit like oh, how yeah. Tori Briggs pop like her shit. Go. So it was like it was fun to see that transition in her yes. as a you know as a coworker. It's like okay, dope. I see you. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, but I mean, I got two beautiful women speaking life into Aww. me. Yeah. We not gonna get mushy on y'all. Come on. Uh, what, what else are we talking about? Let's get spicy. Yeah, let's talk yeah. about I love my bitches. Spicy jalapeno. Yeah. Well, we don't do spicy on the 85 South Show. Like, it don't got don't spicy have, on the 85 uh, South Show. But we don't show. Never have, like, no scandalous topics. No, or, like, it's not going to be scandalous. Not it's scandalous. Be fun. It's not fun. Really, well, I want to ask y'all this. This has been going crazy on social media. Like you said, y'all are all bad women. What do y'all think about the first date list? The first oh, date Okay, I got what something to say. The Cheesecake Factory, I feel like Shorty was tripping. You know what I'm saying? Big shouts out to the Cheesecake Factory. They have never done me wrong. For real, I like 
yeah, that dark anytime. skin bread that they serving yeah. up there. Oh, the yeah. The drinks bread. is drinking. You know what I'm saying? It's a vibe low key sometimes. Good. And really, if somebody like you, they'll go wherever. We could go on a walk. We can go to the park. Like, I think people, you know what it is? Add that to the list. I'm sure going on a walk would not be a good first date. You could. No, yeah. That's the best time to go on a It's walk. fall. You can yeah. see the trees. You could talk, have great conversations. I low key don't want you to take me nowhere. You don't want to go to Cheesecake Factory, but you do want to go on a walk. I'll go to Cheesecake Factory. I'll go to Cheesecake Factory, too. Glad yeah. Cheesecake Factory got good food. Yeah, but I feel like you could definitely... It's not about the amount of money spent on a right. date. It's about the amount of thought that went into the yeah. date. That exactly. makes a good date. So I feel like if you know they don't eat seafood, then of course don't take them to a seafood restaurant. Right. But you could do little things that's not... Or inexpensive that's really thoughtful and will make a vibe. For the yeah. first date? For the first date. Whenever. And if Shorty like you and you got good conversation and it's a vibe, maybe That's you got some backwoods. Right. Treat you me can nice. kick it in the car. It don't yeah. really matter. Fellas, right. you got to start gauging better on how much this girl already like you. That's the that's the that's determining the factor. That's a fact, That's Carlos. what it is. Yeah. That's it. Well, what what some, you think about it? I mean, I'm simple. So, like, a walk, I'm cool. You can take me to Cheesecake. Nigga, if I ate McDonald's, we could go eat McDonald's. Let's chill. Picnic on the floor. McDonald's. Los. Los. Roll up. Easy convo. It's a conversation because I want to get to know you. So if you take me somewhere fancy, you're going to have to keep this up. So don't be trying to do some shit you're not going to be able to do for the whole Absolutely. Week. Now, yeah, if so we start off at Ruth Chris, Ruth Chris is the standard. Right. You get what I'm saying? Or whatever. Like, we can uh, go up and down, but don't act like you you can't. Okay, can't now y'all got them. random women just walking up <laughs> agreeing. We done started so I didn't keep even see simple, her. Baby. She was just like, mm, right. talk your shit. That's right. right. <laughs> now, keep it simple for me, and then we'll elevate from there. Yeah. What about you? I don't, make me first impressions is everything. I want to go to New York like, I'm just saying, make me remember it. Even if we was like in a car smoking backwards, like where we went though, we could have went up to the top of LA where the lights was at. Yeah. Just like make it rememberable. I don't Why know where we going. Thoughtful. That's what I said. It's the amount of thought you know, that you put it into it. Yeah. Whatever that is. You gotta stand out. Because to be honest, well, we are not in LA, so baby, Stone Mountain will have to too. do. Right. <laughs> not Stone Mountain. Then I'm be sweating and shit. See, there's certain <laughs> shit I don't want to do. I don't want to go on a hike on the first date. I, I, I would. Yo, let me tell y'all. But that's because I'm an athletic girl. Yo, let me tell you first date. Wait. Maybe the third. It day. was cute. So my first date, we went to a place called the Library in LA. I'm loud. We went to a place called the Library in LA. And it's like a bar, but that's it's like cute. bookshelves all around us. And we got to talk. It's like wherever you can go and actually like. That's cute. You get to know the person. Yeah, yeah. That's cute. That's cute. Cool. You did I. Whatever. I feel like it doesn't matter, like I said, where you going, because me and Los was just talking about how we used to eat. What was y'all first date? Yeah, tell us <laughs> y'all first spill date. Spill the tea. The first one? I, it was so long ago. I Man, mean. we didn't, we no, didn't have the first one, y'all. Keep it real, Los. We did not have, like, an official, like, first date. Like, we used to meet out, like, just being in Atlanta, and, and we would hang, hang out. out. Like, so it was like we already out. We might hang that's out smoking Atlanta a car. Is, or then, like, yeah, when we started vibe. dating, I, we was in, we was broken, and I was in college. So we eating McDonald's. That's what I was just saying. That's we was just I talking said. about we that. Go like we was eating dollar menu. She loved it. <laughs> I was eating a mac chicken with mac sauce, okay? And but that's good shit. What I said, McDonald's. As long as we converse and we laugh and I'm having fun with we you, we had like, a good time. Oh, yeah, so that's basically, that's all I meant. That the we date we list should have it an was age down on the it. Street. Yeah. It was down the street. Yeah. That's cool. Y'all heard me? So the date list should have an age on it. So it's like first dates for like college. Right, yeah, for, a that grown makes sense. You feel I me? think this absolutely, discussion absolutely. will go a whole yeah. lot further. Like People would answer. just be honest See, and be like, answer. I like you. I'm yeah. broke. I can't do all that extravagant shit this week. Be honest. What yeah, you said, the guy should just say that up front. Yeah, just say it. Like, yeah, bro, be look, honest. You beautiful. I'm not about to do all of this. I'm, I'm fucked it's up coming, this babe. week. It's coming, babe. I got you. But I like you. Right. Stay right there. Yeah. Yeah. I can't take you to buy this expensive food. Not but yet. if I didn't do it, what would you have ate today? Let me take you Ooh, there. Ooh, energy. Yeah. Okay. What would you was gonna eat already? What right. would you it's Wednesday. Why would you go? You knew money. you was gonna stop and get Chipotle. Why well, I can't why take can't, you to why, Chipotle? Why you pay for your Absolutely. Chipotle today? And you can get a margarita. Yeah, like, I don't want, Absolutely. I know a Make man is kill. supposed to come and upgrade your life, but sometimes I need to come and meet you on your level too. Yeah. Talk your like, talk. Like you like Wendy's nuggets. Right. You can I get know, two orders, man. Right. The first date don't start until I get my check. Okay. But okay. I want to holler at you Wednesday. Yeah. We can't go do nothing Wednesday. You like that little soup from Panera? Yeah, okay. I do. Let a nigga buy you a <laughs> wait, soup. Wait, wait, my shit. Like, yeah, he can't buy you a soup. We can have a soup. A soup and a smoothie. 
And you know what? Time. I think right, enough, not the money. Men right. don't men don't take advantage of the daylight. See, when you start taking women out at night, that's when shit get expensive. Yeah. You need okay. to take advantage of shit to do while the sun yeah, out. Get rid of her day dates. Man, day dates. You need to go on day dates. Man, I, you better take that girl to the aquarium. But you can get way aquarium. more creative. Right, you can get way more creative, but that's expensive. The aquarium is like $200 a ticket. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Whether or not your family gives gifts during the holidays, you get to define the gift you give yourself. And the holidays are a great time to do that. Taking care of yourself is the pathway to fulfillment and to high performance in work and in life. And just as importantly, it's a gift to others. So whether it's by starting therapy, going easier on yourself during tough moments, going fishing, or treating yourself to just a day of complete rest, remember to give yourself love this holiday season. And if you're thinking of starting therapy, give better help a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and a switch therapist at any time for no additional charge. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com 85 Lounge today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash 85 Lounge. BlueChew.com and go get you some so you can make love to your lady uh, for a long, long time. Uh, oh, what's up? What's up, fellas? It's that time of year again. With the holiday season approaching, we want to make sure you get the present that really matters. Yeah, the gift that keeps on giving. That's right, Blue Chew. Blue Chew can increase your confidence and give you that little boost in the bedroom. You feel me? You feel me. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex, so go to BlueChew.com to discover all your options. Just chew it and do it. And we got a special deal for our listeners. You can try Blue Chew for free. That's right, for free. When you use promo code 85LOUNGE at checkout, just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code 85LOUNGE, that's L-O-U-N-G-E, to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more important safety information and details, and we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. You can get some... Like a matinee. Some coupons or something. They be having little... You gotta off, be creative. Little Wednesdays, you can go you when the school go or something. Okay. And be like, yeah, they let us in half because the key is in there. You can't okay. take me out in the daytime because I want to go to the mall. I want to go to the aquarium. Then I want to get something to eat. And then be, after that, I'm be hungry by the time you drop me off. So we're going to end up going to dinner anyway. That oh. sounds like fun, bro. That, that <laughs> sounds like a day. fun day. I got a routine. So Thank let's you. just go out at night. One stop shop. That's is there a such thing as a first date that's too extravagant? Like, now you're doing too much. Yeah, yeah do too I don't want to so meet no me. family on the first date. Yeah, me neither. Let's I mean, introduce let's me to nobody in your family. I don't know you like that. <laughs> What if we out and I just run into like my auntie or something? Oh, like, hey, oh, I mean, you run y'all let the aquarium too on a Wednesday? Oh, yeah, shit. But... we gotta hang with them the whole time. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't set it up like that. Yeah, oh. no, but if it's it a happenstance, okay. Yeah, you can't control that. That's yeah. cool. What y'all know goes for first dates? I feel like sometimes though, if the more or extreme extravagant a guy is going, he kind of full of shit. Mm. Like yeah, he's trying like to cover trying to some, too much. he overcompensating. Like you can go out your way, but like it's almost like that love bombing. Yeah, stuff. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Like okay. Yeah, that might scare me because you doing all this. It's like what you trying to yeah. prove. It's almost like you trying to force yeah. yourself yeah. instead of you being authentically you. It's like you trying to force something. So on a you. connection. So I'm gonna get yeah, scared nah. and run. You like what you start doing too much, I'm gonna be like, uh. Yeah, yeah. when it come fast, it go fast. No thanks. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm still taking though. <laughs> he said I'm still taking. Let oh my ask, god! First off. Let me ask y'all, women. Nobody ever asked y'all this. Hypothetically, in a hypothetical world, we living on the alternate reality. If you had to pay for the first date, what would be a, like? What would be your price range? You have to pay for the first date. It can't be over uh, three fifty. You was oh really? So three fifty. Damn, you, I'm a trick. What would you say? Because where are we going to eat I was going to say five, honey. I almost said like five. Like for a first date. is a lot. But we might have drinks that's like, that. like if we yeah, have a couple rounds of drinks, that's Hold like up. 150. What would you like say, Tori? Food is another I, don't know, I don't really got a price because like I want to do something he remember. Yeah, I'm like, so like, love, you going to remember me. I could, yeah, I got to say that shit now. Hold on. Keep in mind. 
This is in girl uh, money now. No, in girl my, money. I will say, say in this girl money. I'm coming with at least five hundred dollars to spend. Yeah, but if the if the vibe is right and we just keeping the night going, or we like let's go to the club, or yeah, let's go to no the, I might if I'm paying for shit, we I got it. Ain't nothing we can't do. Oh, they right. like that Talk too. Your shit. Cause if you spend money, they gonna spend more. Yeah, but it yeah, gotta be that the type of free game. Free game. Oh, y'all. y'all just gave me the perfect free solution game. to this conundrum. What is it? Oh, what? Women should start paying for the first yeah, day. Absolutely so not. Set the, uh-huh. Okay. No, no, absolutely not. So. No, no. Listen, I'm going to say, no. realistically, 350 because I don't bad. know if I really like you yet. We got to get into this. But like Bree said, as the date advances, then if I'm open. Yeah, your limit advances. But I'm not coming into this open. Okay, I got to ask y'all I'm this. Not gonna lie, no, this is too good. I got to ask. <laughs> so, like, on the date, are y'all, like, keeping up a little bit in your mind with the tab? Hell no. 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 We, Damn, we, we, we that's absolutely what not. Like, the fuck? That's what... Yeah. Carlos, yeah, that's what y'all be doing. Y'all be keeping up with the tab. Y'all keep up with the tab. When nah, we keep ordering shit, well, that's petty. But I'm letting you know. Because I'm doing it because I want to do it. I'm but not doing it because you're making me do it. Like that. I'm every doing it man financially. ain't stable like that. But I don't do, do what like, you can do. You got to know what your limit is. But you got to say that because men don't say that. And that's the yeah. problem. You'll see but her let me like order her lobster. It up, but I'm not like... No, you ain't gotta love me. It's a date. But okay, but how y'all feel about old girl no, no. or women like that girl who went and ate like forty-eight oysters? She, she ate forty-eight oysters. Like, that man. was so tacky. It's that like, was disgusting. Your First stomach finna be towed up. I yes. would have been looking at her like, sis, you doing I the can't most. even pay for this. You can't eat like this on a regular day. This is yeah, like, yes, yeah, she can. He that left. She does. That's, That's why I'm nasty. asking y'all, because, like, this is her standard. She said if she was out by herself, she would have did it anyway. I ain't going to lie. On the first day, I'm probably, and maybe because I'm a greedy bitch, but I'm probably not going to eat as much as I normally would even eat. No. Right, oh, I ain't going to eat as much as I would get down, like, if I was with my homegirl. She could have ate Like, 10. me and my homegirl going to order everything we want, and you're right. I got it. I can yeah. afford that. So yeah. I might I might not even eat, really, all of this. We just tasting shit, and yeah. we running it up. But if I'm on a first day, I'm going to keep it cute yeah, because be I don't want you to think, like, damn, baby girl, show can't <laughs> put it away. <laughs> they got to just gobbling shit down. Uh-uh. Listen, no, nah, I'm not no. doing all of that. That's no, you don't have to worry. But like, I don't, I wouldn't say eat 48 oysters, <laughs> but men appreciate when a woman eat all her food. Yeah, eat all her I mean, we know food. that it's, it's cute and all that to, like, only eat some of it, but eat all that shit. We bought it. Yeah, but 48 right, is a little we gotta wrap this crazy. Up. Yeah. 48 is excessive. Well, we appreciate the ladies of Black Girl Stuff stopping through here. Y'all yeah. drop y'all social media. Let them know where they can find the show. Yes. Keep up with y'all and keep the conversations going. Yeah, thank y'all for stopping by. Yes, Coming and checking on me. Yes, our baby girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I love you. And yeah, make sure y'all follow Black Girl Stuff at Black Girl Stuff on all social media, Instagram, TikTok, at Revolt TV as well. Black Girl Stuff airs every Tuesday night on cable. You can check us out on cable. We syndicate it. Okay, okay? Let's go. Every Tuesday night, 9 p.m. on Revolt. Yep. And y'all want to shout out y'all personal Instagrams? At Lay Honey B, L-E-H-O-N-E-Y, the letter B. That's where you can find your girl, Brit Hall. Tori Bricks, T-O-R-I-B-R-I-X-X. All right, backwards, backstage. 85 South Show, we out of here. Thank you.